and and we're live. I haven't <clears throat> I haven't ever live streamed from from this computer, so I don't know. I've done a game stream from it, and it was like super choppy, and just I'm not, I'm not really happy with some of the live streams I've done from Facebook. This might be one of the last ones. I really like doing it from YouTube, but I have no I have no YouTube followers, so I'm just kind of feeling this out, hoping I get some feedback. Um, definitely stumbling, stumbling through these live broadcasts. Who's here? What's up, Jordan? Um, so I'm like really stumbling through these a lot, trying to get better at improvising and talking on the fly. Like I really want to start doing some podcasts with guests, but what I want to talk about? What is up? Elijah and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna greet everybody in uh in song. Let's see if I can keep my word that everybody that, that joins the, the this broadcast. Let's see if I can uh who's yes, nice. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna greet everybody by name um in song musically. Um what I want to talk about tonight is is being a garbage person. If if you if you can't admit that you've never been a garbage person, or if you've in fact never done anything garbage person like, I just I just can't relate to you. Um, and I think it means different things. I think it's a term that's that the, I think once a term kind of permeates pop culture, like that it almost starts to kind of lose its meaning. Um, and what I kind of mean by it is I'm gonna start naming some th some stuff I do like, and this is this is some light garbage person stuff. Uh, a lot of it has to do with garbage, actually. Um, like, instead of cooking um, uh, something healthy for myself, or when I when I have my son here with me, instead of going going out to it, to the grocery store and, and and cooking something nutritious for the both of us, I go to I go to I just go I go get little Caesars, and then you know sometimes by the end of the week I got a I got a stack of little Caesars boxes. Um, in my kitchen or by the front door. Um, it's just, it's just doing like lazy stuff, um, out of, out of your own convenience that that's actually in the long term not really helping you. And I do it all the time. Um, sometimes it's kind of a gray area. Like, uh, I, I've, I have a, I have a vehicle that I've had my, my passenger side window failed, like the, the motor or the switch I've taken it apart and try to fix it. Um, I've I've driven I've been on hour long drives just clicking it like the, the when I kind of gave up on it I just kind of was like I'm just not gonna fix this window is I was running late to work it was where I had to be was like an hour away and I was just clicking just clicking for an hour through traffic it's a it's a manual too so I'm like shifting clicking reaching across like at the, the stoplight clicking both sides trying to get my window to go up and I'm stressing out about it. What is up, Steve? By the way, I'm greeting everybody by singing their name, um, and it's 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 kind of funny too because sometimes oh, what is up, Stephanie? I'm singing everybody's names. I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of I'm gonna what am I gonna do? I'm just everybody that comes will see this comment. I'm going to sing your name. What is up? <laughs> um, so, oh, I can pin that too. So, where was I? I'm trying not to be a garbage person. And the first step of being a garbage person is stop using terms like, uh, I'm a garbage person. That's a lazy ass term. Uh, but you know, but you know what I mean by it. I hope. Um, I was talking about the car, and so by kind of get like there's was just, there's just nothing I could do about the window. Like I was going to be late, and just and just where I was with my life, there there was no short term. I was just not going to have like pretty much. I was just not going to have time or money to fix my window, and I did. I didn't really care about it. It was summertime. The weather was good. My passenger side seat got wet when it rained. If I didn't put a, a poncho or type up, what is up? Yes, pushing buttons and driving. Yes, um, not uh, 
if I were your lawyer, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Um, but pushing buttons and driving, it's, it's good fun. Um, what else do I do? Um, I don't do laundry sometimes. Like I just, I just go through clothes. I get to the point where I'm wearing, uh, I don't know if you have, um, your laundry day underwear. I have like my laundry week underwear, just like they're like worn out. I have socks like that too. I have like the whole, like I have like a whole week of clothes that I don't really like, but I haven't thrown them away. Cause I'm like, what if, what if I, what if I'm just being a turd and I'm not doing laundry that week? You know, I got, I got like backup clothes. I do stuff like that. Um, I think, um, a big thing that a lot of us do is, and I, and I've done it and it's the biggest, the, the longest doldrums of my life are when I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck and it's my own fault. Like I've kind of put myself in a position where I'm stuck. Um, and you start to blame other people. You play, you blame the people to the left and right, people ahead of you, people behind you. Um, and sometimes from my experience, sometimes taking myself out of that situation and making a new situation is, is the best thing to do. And that being said, I've had some really low points in my life. And one thing that's really bothered me, um, and I think we, we all do it, I've done it before, is sometimes, um, and I'm going to kind of reference, I'm not, if anybody knows the exact, um, uh, there's a, I was listening to a podcast, um, I've heard this different places, but they've done this study that, uh, that people like, okay. So if you, if you did, there's like a survey they did and it was, and it was basically the results were, and I'm paraphrasing. So if, if anybody had like, can correct me, um, or verify this, like definitely comment, uh, uh any kind of, uh, link to any reference would be awesome. Um, but they'll, they'll ask someone, uh, if they're happy with their salary and then they'll ask them. if their neighbor was making more than them, would they still be happy with their salary? And they'll say, no, no, they're not happy with their salary. And it would, and, and they also said, would you take a pay cut if it meant making more than your neighbor? And they would say, they would say yes. So a lot of people, uh, it's, it's, it's not a lot. I, and I don't know what percentage of people or how many people. And it's, it's, this is at this point, I have, I have no reference. So this is, this is anecdotal. Um, Sometimes people base their happiness on the misery of, of not necessarily misery. That's kind of, that's kind of an extreme um, way to go with that. But sometimes people are only happy when they have more than someone else or if their career is doing better than someone else or, or if, um, it's, it's this weird relativity thing to do with success and happiness. Um, and sometimes I, I've, I've noticed that, that um so like there's a there's a point in my life where I was doing really bad like I was not happy I was living outside some people call that being homeless but I was actually really good at it like I was clean um like I mean like I bathed on a regular basis and I had uh two full-time jobs I just didn't live inside I, I lived outside in an urban environment um I've also um, there's been some tough spots in my life and then, and then sometimes when people, that's how they meet you. And then years later, um, you've left that situation and then they see you again. Like, it's like, you can see, like, it kind of, kind of like kills them inside to see that you progress from that point. Like they're basing, um, they're judging their own success based on your failures and, and your hardship. And as long as they're doing better than you, then it's okay. And I've seen sometimes, um, I, I, I'd, I'd like to think that it's the, the, that it's subconscious, that people aren't doing it on purpose, that it's this, this mechanism, like, our, like we want to, this defense mechanism that we want to defend our ego and defend what we feel good. Like there's things about ourselves and our identity that we feel good about and you want to defend that. So like if you're smart and then someone that you – used to think was dumb, they start to seem intelligent to you. Um, it's your reaction is to start to try to prove them wrong or dismiss what they're saying. Or if someone was unskilled at something that used to be better at them 
and now they're now they're they're improving. Um, it's it's people want to dismiss that. Um, sometimes people want you to stay where you're at. Um, in order to, it's it's I don't know I don't know if anybody anybody else has experienced that or if you've done that to anyone else or if that's been done to you. Um, but it's super easy to get in that spot where um, you're comfortable. Um, you have potential that you're not reaching, and you. So here's here's where you are, and then here's where you could be, but you're comfortable. So you start saying, "Well, I'm not there because this person's holding me back, or this person's in my way, or the world's like this. I can't do it because the the, the world is messed up." And you get this nice this nice little little space where you're not going up or down, and you're just comfortable where everything's constant, nothing's changing. Um, and that's, you don't, you, so sometimes you're doing that. And if you're doing that, you're holding yourself back. Sometimes you're doing that to other people. You're blaming other people for your problems or you're holding other people back. So you can stay where you're at and still feel okay about where you are. Don't be that person. Don't keep those people in your life that are doing that. Let go of the tech, the negativity and, and just, you got to make it happen. I'm a terrible public speaker. I'm taking public speaking this semester. I'm, I'm doing these rants where I have like, I got like six people watching right now. Um, and I'm just going to kind of stubble through this. I'm going to get some, get some, get some feedback. Hopefully. Um, I've, one of the things that I've never had anybody comment live or doing or, 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 or inbox me anything, but I've had like uh, talking to one of my friends that, that has watched this. They've told me that it seems like this isn't rehearsed and I'm stumbling through it. And I'm like, have you, you ever seen you ever seen a podcast like they're a little bit better at it um, but this is this is how you get good at stuff you pick something and you suck at it for a long time um, I think one of the one of the things I really want to start getting into this year is uh, um, I want to get back into to cycling like I've done I've done some long rides uh, I've done for for uh, for work and just just like uh, in town commuting, I've been I've been riding. Uh, I have like a road bike, and I ride that a lot. But I want to get into to uh, back into BMX, um, and uh, I want to get like a like a like a twenty nine inch like big ass BMX bike. Like they like make those. Um, I'm not good at it. Like I can um, I can't manual. I can't. Uh, I was trying to. I was. Uh, I was uh, a, a work friend. I was at work, and we we're on a lunch break, and I was trying to, 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 to ride a wheelie. Um, and I could bear. I could barely do it. Like when I was a kid, we we used to do that. Like up and down the street, we would just ride around the neighborhood, like, on wheelies. I didn't know what a manual was. I've never really followed BMX, but um, we just used to do that stuff. Um, so. Um, I think I'm about tapped out. Um, I'm gonna. I, my goal is for about uh, uh, ten minutes of unrehearsed, uh, uh, continuous, raw, just a stream of consciousness, consciousness, just fumbling out of my mouth. And I think I'm gonna cut it off at uh, at fifteen minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave some links down. Um, in the in the in the in the comments or maybe in the description, I'll probably put it up in the in the description. Oh, I forget there's comments and I forget to it forget it doesn't auto scroll with, with the beard. Okay. Oh, I, I oh I forget I forget that this thing doesn't if I don't leave it at the bottom. It, I don't I have to scroll to see what the comments are. Okay, so let me catch up on comments real quick. I'm going over time. This is this is going to be less than 15 minutes. Um, the beard. How you been, brother? I've been good, Jeffrey.
Jay Fletch has joined. I forgot. I, I, I'm i sorry, everybody. Like, I forgot to, to keep scrolling. I thought it would, like, Nate Hodge. I think they're that way. They're truly not happy with themselves or love themselves. And that's the case. The only person they have to blame is themselves. Exactly. And I hate when people do that. And and I catch those negative vibes, and it kind of bums me out. But I, I, I do it, too. Everybody does it on some level. And I think a lot of times we don't even realize that we're doing it. And we're making, and we're we're trapping ourselves into being unhappy, and we're keeping the people around us unhappy. Uh, so I compete regularly with my friends, compete regularly with my friends on where I am in life. But I would never wish for them to do bad. Yes, um, in fact, I would, I would I like when they are ahead of me because it gives me something to strive for. I never think that I've reached my peak. That's awesome. That's a good point too. I wish I'd been reading these as they came up. Um. Yeah, no, I think that's awesome. I think to be competitive um, w with your friends and push each other, you know, go back and forth. Um, I think that's awesome. Um, I, just, I just, what scares me is um, sometimes I get like really competitive. I go out of my way, like to, uh, um, uh, being competitive with your friends is, is cool. But like when you don't like somebody, um, it's, you, you can get fix it. Like I've gone down in rabbit holes, like I'm going to get really good at this or do this, or like, I'm going to succeed at this. And it's not necessarily what's going to make me happy, but I just want to do better than, than, uh, than a rival. And I might succeed at that, but, it, but once, once I've achieved that goal, like I'm, it's empty. I'm not happy. It's been done to you. Okay. Stephanie Parr says it's, it's been done to me. I think everyone has had some sort of similar experience, but all you can do is be better than your old you. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, Christopher Lentz and Jared Mullis and Matt Black. Yeah, I'm working on my public speaking in school right now as well. I actually volunteered as an officer in a school organization, so I would have to get up and talk in front of people. It has helped immensely. Um, yeah, it does. Um, uh, the past few summers, I've been a I've been a tour guide, like a kayak tour guide, and that I've kind of got my comfort zone in that, like at, at um, the beginning of, of that, of that, uh, of that venture, that adventure, um, I was really bad at it. I was really bad at it. It was like, I stuttered a lot. I still stutter and stumble a lot and kind of hang in the middle of sentences. Like I'm thinking about the, the second half of the sentence, but I got into the groove of it. This is a little bit different than, than I think public speaking. And then, uh, I mean, I am publicly speaking, but like, I, like I've, I've paddled that route so many times. I've, I've seen the wildlife, I've seen the plant life, I've seen the river, I've seen the, uh, all the, all the weather conditions and the, and the water conditions, and I just, I just basically just regurgitating stuff I've already said. Like it worked. Like that, that joke landed well. I'm gonna do that joke again. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, Davin Lasseter. Way to get out the box, brother. Thank you. Angela. Still Twain says, I used to compare my entire life. I did it. I finally realized this and started to go do something about this year. You got this. Thank you. Yeah. What's up, Cameron Bond? Um, I guess technically I was a squad leader, but like everybody in my squad was like autonomous and did like they did what they needed to do anyway. Like I was like a figurehead, like everybody, you know what I mean? Like when you're, you're, you're in charge of a group of people, like all you have to do is not be addicted. Like if, if you're, in, if you're in charge, not in charge, if you're like responsible for like a, like a small group of responsible people, like all you have to do is just stay out of their way. And like, that's all you have to do. Like the only way you can, you can mess that up is by, is, by basically micromanaging what they're already doing right. Like, you're just going to make it harder. Um, okay. Now I got to keep on scrolling. Mama Lisa. Um, I got, I got to keep, I got to keep up with, with who's, who's popping in. This. Now I'm hitting 20 minutes. Um, wow. Um, I thought I'd be, I thought I'd be out of stuff to say 10 minutes ago. Um, Chris Murda. What's up, dude? Um, yeah, yeah, 
yeah, and make sure they know what needs to be done. Um, oh, that was the hardest part is I like I hated tell I hated I hated uh, I hated briefing that squad because like everybody was so on point. Like I just felt like everything I was saying like they already were aware of, but like you can't you can't not tell them. Like you gotta tell them what's up, Nick. Um. So. Where was I? Where was I at? Um, anyway, um, the seasonal depression got me this year. It got me good. Like, I got really bummed out. Um, the hurricane hit, and it kind of – that was kind of like – that was super stressful, but I was I was working so much. Um, I was in two – I was in two well, I was in one band that was playing out. I was in one band that was standing up. I was learning material for a third band. And then that kind of got put on hi hiatus. And then I started standing up uh a, like a technically a fourth band. Um Michael, I'm proud of you. The man you become, and all obstacles you've overcome, you've come a long way way back when mom and i always believed in you and still do love you man thank you still yeah no dude you've always been the most like genuine like positive dude like um thank you um i was talking about i was talking about uh uh seasonal depression yeah 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 no the, like the hurricane hit uh kind of threw me off track um I had my my uh, uh I've had some changes in uh living arrangements and um employment. Um tomorrow's my last day. I work at a I do a, a lot of uh custom fabrication and production and assembly. Awesome. Thank you. Um and tomorrow's my last day there. And then if I can if I can pull Hail Mary and get at least half of my tuition paid by Wednesday and um, work out, there's a snag with my um, I'm using I'm going to school using the the GI Bill. Um, oh, YouTube channel. Okay, awesome. What's up, Jessica? Um, here, my my YouTube channel is here. Let me let me let me come up with a link real quick. I'm pretty sure it's deep. It's deep blue kiss. Yeah, it might tell you you spelled it wrong, but just spell it. Spell it like this. I'm just going to give you a link, but it's, you misspell, um, on purpose, you misspell the word deep and it's all, it's all one, it's all one, uh, it's all one word, but here's the link. Let me double check that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's not good yet. Like it's a lot of me ranting and rambling in front of the camera like this. And uh what is up, Josh James? Um Oh yeah, so, so but if you wanna if you wanna check that out, this is also if you just Google this, if you just Google Deep Blue Kiss, um that'll you'll be able to find um it used to bring on my Instagram. If you search for that, if you search on Instagram, you can find my Instagram. It's a lot of pictures. I like Instagram because uh, I've been really good about like not taking pictures of myself on my Instagram. It's like usually like what I'm doing. That's cool. Like you already like you know you know what I look like. You only need like so many pictures to know what I look like. Um, some people are beautiful, and you want to look at like a million pictures of them, right? Um, but I like taking pictures of, of wildlife and, and stuff that's going on and. I want, that's what I want my YouTube channel to change more into is um, I got a lot of I got a lot of uh, a lot of GoPro footage, a lot of GoPro footage just sitting on hard drives for the past four years. 
Um, I want to see, I really want to compile it all into one hard drive and see if I, I think I might break a terabyte with all the stuff I got to go into, but also kind of what makes me want to change the way that I record stuff because I sometimes I just hit record. Like I don't want to miss anything. Like I don't want to risk something cool happening and I have to like pull my camera out, turn it on, hit record. So, so, so I've kind of, backed up from just leaving it on until the battery dies um or leave i usually just i when i turn it on i hit record and i let it roll until the battery dies um but then i have to sort through and basically watch it like and i can't just skip through it because i so because sometimes the best little clip you want is only like three seconds long six seconds long and i don't and it's sifting and and and, and if that's in the middle of like I think I think I can record for 90 the batteries I have are kind of old so like I'm only getting like 90 minutes out of them maybe two hours um, depending on the settings um, so I've kind of gotten away from that and I just I leave it on but I'll just hit record and I'll record but I'm still recording too long I really need to just start hitting record and snapping little things this is just, it's just so it's so tedious going through Hours if at the end of the day switching out three batteries, that's nearly four hours. Um I think I think it could fit the SD cards I have, I think it's like fit like four hours on those. Um oh it looks like hopefully hopefully the, the viewer count dropped because um I threw up those links. You can check out those videos. They're they're I don't some of them it's like it's like two hours of me cutting up cardboard and making Conan armor or Conan sword um, or Conan Conan O'Brien. Um, I've been corrected for the way I pronounced Conan before. Um, not the same as Conan. Not the same person. Um, oh, who's here now? All right. Here we go. Let's wrap this up. I was talking about the seasonal depression. It got me. Um, hurricane hit. Um, the the surf lessons, kayak tours, that kind of stuff, um, kind of trailed off. Did I want to say trailed off? No. Oh, oh, that's what I was talking about. Is I was I was uh, I was working a, a manufacturing job four days a week, and then three days a week, I was. I was doing uh, surf rentals, kayak rentals, uh, lessons and tours and stuff like that. And Hurricane Florence hit Wilmington and I was stressed out like that people were going to get hurt, people were going to lose their stuff, that I might not get my family out in time and we might get hurt and that we would lose all our stuff. Um, but once I got out of town, um, it was a relief. Like I was, it was like, it was like, tw it was like at least 12 hour days every day. And the days that I wasn't actually like on the clock working 12 hour days, um, it was still, it's still, it was still, I don't know if you would consider it a 12 hour work day because it was like personal development stuff. Like I was rehearsing with bands I was um, putting together a recording studio. Um, I was uh, I was uh, I was surfing. I'm supposed to be, you know what I mean. I was kayaking. I'm supposed to be an instructor, right? So like, how 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 am I gonna how am I gonna progress and 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 teach people how to do these things if I'm not like doing them as much as I can? Um, so maybe 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 uh maybe maybe surfing at at you know right after i get off at you know four o'clock in the afternoon doesn't seem like work to you which it 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 does it's fun um but it was professional it was personal and professional development to me like that's but when i got out there like that's what i was doing like i wanted to get better so i can uh provide a better service um but it's it's not even i was like getting paid for 12 hour days. What is up, Austin? 
Um, so I was working, I was working these long hours and I didn't have time for myself. I know I was doing stuff like I'm, I'm playing in these bands. I'm doing stuff like surfing and kayaking. Um, but I was doing these things to make money. It wasn't necessarily, and then not all the time, especially to music. I'm lucky if I broke even with the music over the summer. Um, it was, it was really just personal and professional development to in the future, make money at it. Um, but as far as like stuff that I actually just remember every step closer to your goal makes you that much closer to achieving, no matter how small or big that step is, stay positive. Going to go play some, some BO4 brother, some black ops four, take care. Let's get some. Yeah. Especially dude, especially if, uh, if you want to, I need to, I need to start liking what people are saying when I like what they say. I mean, I'm saying it, but like, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, yeah, dude. Um, for sure. I will hit you up. Um, it's especially, especially if you all want to do any kind of, um, I'm really trying to, I, I know I, need, I have so much, I was talking about how much I have so much GoPro footage. I really want to get some more. Like if really, so if anybody's, if I'm ever where you're at, I'm going to hit you up. Let's go skate. Let's, let's, let's cycle. Um, let's bike. Let's kayak. Let's surf. Let's snowboard. I don't have a snowboard. I've never snowboarded before. Um, let's get out, let's get out there, document it with a camera get our heart rates up and like, let's do some podcast stuff. That's like really what I want to get into. Um, and it's, it's, um, I've always wanted like to, from being a kid, I was wanted to be like a, like a, like a, uh, like a, like a professional skater. Or, uh, 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 like a, uh, I didn't get to, I wasn't, I didn't really get to surf as a kid. Um, but now I'm into surfing and it's like, it's not, it's not really practical. Not that if you're moving to Oregon, hit, hit you up. Um, I will. No, that's a great place for some, uh, some outdoor stuff. Um, definitely. Um, what is up, Moses? We jumped out of a plane the first time together. I mean, not together, like we weren't holding hands or anything, but like we were there, dude. Like we were there together. Um, oh, so yeah, no, definitely, definitely, um, definitely always down to do to do anything. Um, honestly, I I over the years I've grown to hate going out to eat. And going to movies and going to bars and drinking, like, I hate that shit. Not that I hate it, but like, I just don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do it anymore. Like I've done it. Like how many times? Like, I don't know. I don't know how many times I can go. Like I can go to a restaurant. Not that. I don't want to. I don't want to get too negative. But I'd much rather go do something outside, like go for a walk, go for a hike, go to the park, go to the beach. Not even do anything at the beach. Like sometimes, we don't have done in a long time, is just go to the beach and just sit on the beach. Like I'm always like, you know, breaking myself off in the water. Like, like anyway, but what I was kind of getting at is, you know, people are starting, you know, talking about like, let's, let's get up. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get up and, and, uh, and hang out and stuff. And then, but before that, I was talking about, I was getting, I was getting to the point I'm about to get to finally, um, is I'm, I have a, I, I have a, I love filming stuff. I love, I love doing these things, but not necessarily is anybody going to want to watch me skate by myself. Like, I'm, it's just, I have a lot of fun. Like, it's probably fun to watch someone having fun, but I'm not going to be doing anything. Oh, nice. No, I need, yeah, no, I'd love to get into, to, to mountain biking. Um, I've been watching, I've been watching a lot of stuff. Um, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, urban freestyle writing, 
and uh, a lot of a lot of BMX stuff, especially when it's like the big BMXs, like the big uh, the big like uh, t- what is it, the 29 inch BMXs, like SE bikes makes uh, this bike called the Fat Ripper, and it's like a it's like if you've ever seen like uh, fat bikes, um, like the fat tire bikes, like the, but the, like the, when I first saw one, it was like a cruiser, and I'm like, oh, that's that's cool, um, but it was it was basically like a mountain bike with big fat tires on it. Um, but SE Bikes makes this this it's a fat BMX and looks awesome. Uh, any kind, any yeah, any kind of biking, uh, BMX, mountain, road, uh, like to sort of do some touring stuff. I'd love to get out there and do, um, uh, record some of that and then sit down and do like a kind of podcast and talk about what we did and just kind of rant and ramble like kind of how I'm doing now. And again, and then also, how interesting is this? Like, I, I got, like, three viewers right now. I don't know how many people have been watching the whole time. And I got two viewers. Um, I don't know how many people want to watch me talk by myself. I have a lot of really interesting friends. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I can... I'm really starting to get into this with the the doing uh, the live streams, and I've recorded more than I po- I've recorded. I'm, I basically haven't posted any of the stuff I've recorded over the past four years. Like it's crazy. Like I have to edit through all the stuff and put it together to where people are going to want to watch it. Um, but definitely, I have a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting friends that would make this stuff a lot more interesting. Um, than just me sitting here talking in front of a camera or me eating shit at the skate park. Um, wow, I'm approaching 40 minutes. I keep on saying I'm going to stop, but people keep on popping in, and I keep on going. Uh, but I need to stop because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta clean. Uh, I gotta make a list. This is one thing I've been starting to do is making a list. I make I like make like a schedule for myself. And right now I've been I've been doing it not any smaller than half an hour increments. Um, but it's kind of like I just write down like what my goal is. So I get off tomorrow at uh, uh, two. I think I get off at two tomorrow. Hopefully they don't talk me into staying any later than that. Like I really really got a lot to do tomorrow after work. Um, so I think I'm gonna get off at two p.m ride my bike so it takes it takes me like 10 minutes but i'm gonna give myself um i'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to get home so i'd really like to be in this because i work with a lot of um you, i, I want to take i don't want to talk about what i work with um but i, I had to take a shower like i have to like thoroughly um, I have to decontaminate myself um, when I get home before I start tracking stuff all around my apartment and stuff. So I'm going to get in the shower by 3.30. Um, and then I got to do laundry. I got to go to the laundromat to do some laundry. So really by 4 o'clock, I want to be at the laundromat. And then I'm just have to make a list and kind of plan that around when my laundry is coming in and out of the washer and the dryer so I can stay busy. What happens is you can see that I'll do it. I'll sit down in front of my computer. I've been doing it. We just documented it. I've been doing, I've been sitting here for 39 minutes sitting in front of my computer, but at least now I'm generating some content. I'm going to, I'm going to put, actually this video is going to get posted on uh, my YouTube channel and then, but on the YouTube channel, no one's going to see the comments. Um, That's that's why I kind of start to, I like start to read the comments out loud. Um, so if you see me like looking like this and I'm talking, it's because I'm reading the screen and reading the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube. If you're on if you're friends with me on Facebook and you're you're watching this, you could probably you could probably put it together and look at the comments. Um, uh, oh yeah. Um, I recently discovered I was looking at the the description the, the comment I put the, the description at the top I put. Um, I recently discovered David Goggins. Uh, man, I wish I had 
wish I I wish I had read his I haven't read his book yet. I've watched I've watched him on two podcasts. Um I watched uh the Joe Rogan podcast he did and there is a there's another podcast um that one was about an hour. The Joe Rogan one's about so I've watched I've listened to I've, I've listened to David Goggins talk to somebody for an aggregate 4 hours. Um Um, oh yeah, the song about David Goggins. I'm getting tired. I've had a long day. Um, all right, so we're at 40 minutes now. If this thing hits, if this, if this, if this time hits an hour, I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna sign off. I was doing this sign off thing for all my videos, and it was like I was saying like. Put down your cell phone and get back to work. And I thought it was pretty cool. Um, oh, I do want to finish with that. I was talking about you know be fun, you know be a funny drinking game. Um, is uh, every time I change the subject and then don't come back to it. Um, which that wouldn't make sense. You'd have to watch the whole video to see if I come back to it. Um, or just every time I change the subject, you have to take you have to take a drink. Uh, play a drinking game in a while. Uh, probably about probably about six weeks. Um, I've been drinking. Um, I had a drink. I had I went to a show. Yeah, that's what it was. I went to a show. Um, HR from Bad Brains was supposed to play, but he canceled. Like, like. People were like shocked. I'm not super into like HR, like his like solo stuff, but like that he can't. Like I've I've at least seen like a couple Bad Brains documentaries about like kind of what they're all doing now, and like that didn't shock me at all. Like I was like, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of like the exciting thing about coming out um, to the show is that like is he is he gonna actually show up and do a set? Uh, okay, let me wrap this up. Uh, so kind of what I was talking about at the beginning, um, kind of like that's definitely have had that, 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 like that kind of attitude about life in general, about just don't be a garbage person. Um, oh, there's this really cool link about, uh, um, where that term came from. Um, you know, it's actually, this article is saying, This is a weird article. This is a weird. What what site is this? Um. I don't know. I'm not like. What this art? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this article. Um. That talks about. Um, where the term garbage person comes from. And it's kind of, it kind of takes it. Um, I don't know anything about this website. So like if this website turns out to be like a super, the people that make, uh, that, that produce this website are like super terrible peeper, pe uh, peeper. They're super terrible people or like the author of this article is like a super terrible person. Like I'm just, I'm just posting it because I Googled garbage person. And it was like one of the first articles that came up. Um, and it, and it turns out, the the first the earliest documented uh, document uh, the earliest uh, use of the, the first person they can find a, a documented use of uh, one of the earliest mentions on record is from the testimony of Charles Manson who used the term to describe himself um, and then I'd already decided to do this what is up Bobby um, I'd already decided to do this um, this live broadcast and base it on not being a garbage person and, and becoming a better person and making yourself better um, and not holding and don't hold other people back from doing that 
and sometimes they'll hold you back from doing that and just ignore them just maybe maybe they are actually holding you back and instead of staying where you're at using them as an excuse of why you're not where you want to be like just remove yourself from that situation it's not it's not their fault like don't let it be their fault like don't give that to them um and 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 don't take that away from yourself like don't take responsibility away from yourself like you're gonna you're gonna stay where you're at but i don't want anybody freaking out about the garbage person article it says some stuff about i think at the end of it it calls uh it calls donald trump a garbage person um uh but i just i i just i the <laughs> <laughs> the reason I use this article is because it has a picture of Oscar the Grouch, and it was like one of the first things that came up. Like, what were the other results I had that came up? Yeah, it was for me. It's the the second result of uh, if you if you Google uh, garbage person, um, and I and I and I and I clicked on actually clicked on it because it said uh, we know the origin of garbage person, and I'm like I don't even know. I wasn't even sure. I just heard it a couple of times. I didn't realize it had permeated pop culture enough to have articles about it. And I think the first result, yeah, this is the first result. Um, I'm not even going to read this just in case you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say garbage person. Or uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I do need to read this article before I start using the term. Um, but it's just like when someone does things selfishly, um, especially when they're not, not thinking about the consequences for the people around them, or they're like taking a shortcut for like immediate instant gratification. Um, I think we all do it. Um, and it's just, it's just lazy stuff. Like if you have a messy, like I have a messy car, like I think I have, and it's, and it's always so funny, like how, not everything, not every, nothing in life is a zero or a one. You know, everything's like a bunch of zeros and ones. So one of the things that I have going on right now, so I have I have this car that I, I don't have a car payment. I'm trying to live within my means. I have a kind of a crappy car that I'm kind of not taking care of, but like I'm trying to, I'm also, um, a whole nother podcast about the car. Um, So it's, it's kind of like hybrid garbage person. Like I'm halfway. Like I'm drinking some kombucha. Like I'm trying to trying to better myself and keep healthy. And what is up, Tyler? Super fast runner, dude. You are so fast. I hope you're even faster now. Um, yeah. So in the passenger side seat of my car. Um, used to be full of garbage, like literal garbage, like fast food wrappers, monster cans. I've been trying not to drink uh, energy drinks. Um, so now when I go grocery shopping, instead of like, get, I'm like at the checkout and I'm like, oh, I got to go home and put all these gro groceries. I got my son. I got to feed him. I got to do all this stuff. I'm going to get a monster. And I've just, I've kind of cut that out. So, but now my front seat, it's, it's mostly, it's mostly clean, but on the floorboard, there's like five kombucha bottles. So it's like trying to be healthy, trying to you know, you know, keep, uh, keep my insides fresh and all that. Um, but, but I have like this trash in my front seat. The whole back seat is trash. Like I think I'm I in the I've, I have a um, like I have a hatchback, and I think in my back seat there's like a, a giant cardboard box with nothing in it, a radiator, uh, disgusting vacuum I probably need to throw away, um, a can of gas a can of oil gas mixture for a, for a, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still going. I keep on saying I'm going to stop. Like I need to stop. I'm cutting out at, at one hour. I'm stopping. Like I'm going to stop for real. Um, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're watching the, the syndicated rebro, uh, the, the, the YouTube version of this video, there's, there's Facebook comments and responding to them. My friend Jordan is saying, Holy shit, bro! You're still, you're still going, nice. Um, and I keep on saying I'm gonna stop. I've been saying I'm gonna stop like every ten or fifteen minutes, but I'm, I'm definitely in about ten minutes. Like I'm stopping for real. Um, <sighs> uh, 
I think I've started a couple of different topics that I haven't finished. Um, yeah, and I got a bunch of shit in my car. There's a whole nother, I'm doing a big life change with the whole, um, I'm not going to stop driving, um, but I think I'm, ge I'm getting rid of my car. Like, I'm not going to have, like, a personally owned vehicle. Like, I'm probably still going to rent cars. I'm probably still going to Uber. Um, but, and, okay, I'm not necessarily, like, uh, I wouldn't say um, I'm exactly like a single parent. Like, I'm a co-parent. Um, but I live by myself, in an apartment by myself. And I have like an 18 month old son that I have. Sometimes I have him five days a week. Sometimes I have him six days a week. Sometimes I have him four days a week. Most of the time I have him like five days a week. And I'm trying to live my life without owning a vehicle. Like everything's going to be a, like on a bicycle or on foot. So the biggest obstacle with that is what to do when it's super, super cold and when it's raining and how to have a daily life with that. But that's, that's one of the things where like, I'm trying to, that's, I'm not saying, and th these are my, all my own standards. Like, I don't think everybody needs to stop driving to not be a garbage person. Um, but what is up, Peter? Um, but I'm going to be um, this quasi single parent that doesn't drive. I'm just, I don't need it. I don't need a car. The only thing I really need a car for at this point is getting a bunch of groceries at one time and transporting my my young son around when the weather is adverse. But I I just I think I just, it's just making me lazy with the car. I can drive. I don't have to think. I don't have to problem solve. And I need more in that life. I, like I need I need challenges. I need to be trying to solve something weird. Um, so sometimes I do kind of create problems like that. Like my life is like <laughs> um, I. Uh, uh, one of my jobs is seasonal, so and I'm I'm not actually pushing myself to to after this after this summer like I definitely need the winter off from that type of work. And my 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 uh year, my year in year out job like I'm leaving that job starting tomorrow and then on Wednesday I start school. Um and I'm, and I have <laughs> I have I have the sun. I have, and I, I don't have a spouse or a roommate or anybody helping me out with any of this. Um, I'm not saying that that Crystal isn't doing anything for for our son. I'm just saying like we have, we're separated. We're doing our own thing. We're not really, we're not making things hard for each other, but we're not necessarily helping each other. Um, we're doing our own thing, and I'm trying to do this without a car um and here's here's something that i think a lot of people that, that keeps a lot of people from from moving forward is if you have if you have low income or you're like anywhere near the poverty line like you need to get real with that like maybe it isn't practical for you to have a car like financially like it's not for me to move ahead in life like it's not practical for me to 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 carry the burden of the cost of having a vehicle i'm like i'm just I'm, I'm starting to do the math in my head you just kind of estimate stuff but the the price of of car insurance the price of, of vehicle maintenance the price of fuel um the amount of time that i spend having a car um and, and, and if I were to if I were to aggregate that to a, to an annual cost and then compare that to how much it would cost to just not have a vehicle, and if I want to go visit family, um, and not worry about like what a what a what a crappy car I have and it doesn't have a window, like I could just I, I could afford to just rent a car, you know, once a month, go rent a car and go do something. Um, I don't need to drive every day. Um, I've been I've been biking to work, um, going back and forth to the to the 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 school I'm going to be going to. Like I've been around my what is a BJ? Um, I just been I've been riding my bike. I'm sick of the car. Oh, I'm going to so right now. Um, I'm I'm going to major in. So uh, Jordan just asked me what I'm going to go to school for. 
Um, I'm going to be majoring in um, in music. I'm going for an associate. Oh, thank you. This just it just it. I didn't even do anything. It just I just stopped cutting it, and uh, I wash it, put some conditioner in it. I was like putting beard oil in it for a while, but this is just like this is just like food and stuff throughout the day in my, in my mustache, and then like if it was glistening. At the beginning of this broadcast, it was because it was sweaty. I went for it. I went for a short yog. Um, I'm going to go to school. To answer to uh, 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 BJ just told me that my beard is magnificent. So that's what that rant was about. Um, and I'm going to. And Jordan asked me what I'm going to school for. I'm going to go to school for music. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Keep that as my major. This is my first. So I started, I'm 34 years old, and I started my, my associate's degree when I was 17. So for, I've, been, I've been on and off going to school for an associate's degree for 17 years. Um, um, but I might keep that as my major, but like I'm just, I'm taking some, like a lot of general ed stuff. The one actual music, Class, I'm, I'm taking guitar. I've been playing guitar for at least 20 years. Um, so I'm taking guitar. So that's like one of my classes. It's like, and that's like one day, one day a week. I have a guitar class. Um, so either, either I'm gonna do really well at it, um, so at least. At least, at least I'm working it, working at it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Um, is that is it, at least I'm working at it? Is that reference to the to the beard? I mean, I I I love it. I feel good about it, um, especially in cold days. This thing is is awesome. Um, I just. I like stopped getting a haircut and stopped trimming my beard. Um, oh, we got it's 5732. I said I was gonna stop. Oh, my degree. Yeah, no, exactly. No, I don't I don't feel I don't feel ashamed. What is up, Thomas? Um the, okay, am I gonna break an hour? Am I gonna keep my word? I'm gonna stop. Yeah, no, it's I've been working on this associates. Um for a long time and I definitely I th and honestly I think I've seen I've seen like posts like that on like Facebook like those like feel good posts like those motivational posts are talking about like um like the milestones like if it took you a long time to get married and have kids or like buy a house or like graduate college or like start a business like it's never too late like don't ever feel like um just because you weren't like a child prodigy at something that like it doesn't mean that like in your 30s um or beyond that you can you can do something for the first time or complete something that you've been working at for a long time. All right, we got about 90 seconds left. What am I gonna talk about for 90 seconds? Let's wrap it up. Uh, um, David Goggins is awesome. Um, we're all pieces of shit, pretty much, but the first step of being great and being awesome and becoming like a legendary person is coming to terms with like what a piece of shit you are and then becoming great from there. Um, oh no, I got 50 seconds left and I'm done. Like I'm done. Like I have, I have to get back to being like a normal person that doesn't sit talking to a camera for an hour. Um, what well, I want to wrap it up, uh, stay positive, achieve your goals. I'm probably changing my music major to like maybe something else. I'm probably gonna get associates in music and then transfer to four year college and, uh, and, and double major in business. Um, and then probably continue my education. I'm going to be a professor one day and everybody just have to listen to me talk like I am now and do homework about it and take a test. Um, we got 10 seconds left.
check out my YouTube channel, check out my Instagram, check out my eBay store, buy my stuff. Um, this has been great. <laughs>